think it's that. I guess it's the dimension where we make apple pie. Welcome to Columbia. It's got priests, freedom fighters, a girl who can open rifts to different dimensions, and then there's you, Booker DeWitt. You're just there to get the girl and go, and of course nothing goes as planned and you get caught in a domestic war for freedom. And other things. But, you know what you find of a lot of in Colombia? Apples. And what says America, or Colombia, more than apple pie? Booker, brown sugar! <laughs> Booker, oats! Here, take this butter. You're gonna need this cornstarch. Here, here's some apples. <laughs> no lag shack, Booker, you know you need it. Power, take it! Ooh. First off, preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Grease your pan. Then take your pie crust and put it into your pie pan. Combine the flour, brown sugar, butter, and oats. For the pie filling, combine sugar, cornstarch, and water in the saucepan. Cook and stir until thickened. Once thickened, remove from heat and stir in the apples and the vanilla extract. Pour the pie filling into the pie crust, and then add your pie topping which you made in the beginning, as a second step. Finally, place it in the oven for 45 minutes or until the crust is golden brown. This week's Extra Life is brought to you by Vigors from Fink Industry. Since the game takes place in the 1910s, 1912, we are going to make a whiskey sour. And to add a little extra spice for the Vigors, we are going to use Fireball Whiskey. It has a little bit less alcohol than your normal whiskey. It tastes just like a Fireball candy. If you can't find Fireball Whiskey, you can use cinnamon schnapps and regular whiskey as well. So in order to make a whiskey sour, there are some things you're going to need. The first thing you're going to need is lemon juice. So we are going to use a half of the lemon, and I'm just going to squeeze that out. This is a juicer. You just twist the lemon. And once you've gotten as much juice from that lemon as you can, you're going to pour it into your mixer. Now the mixer comes important because for this recipe we are using egg whites. If you don't want to use egg whites or you don't have a mixer, that's fine as well. So I poured in the lemon juice. Next thing I'm going to do is pour in my whiskey. So for a whiskey sour, you're going to want to add, that's one shot and then a half a shot, so one and a half shots. Then we're going to put in some blue agave. You can use simple syrup. If you don't have some, you can also do equal parts water and equal parts sugar. You let that boil and then you pour that in. So we're going to put about a tablespoon of agave nectar in there. Then we're going to use egg whites. Now egg whites was traditionally used in cocktails. They don't use it that much anymore. And what it does is when you mix it, it creates a froth on top. So I know it sounds kind of gross since we're not cooking, but most of the alcohol in the alcohol that we're using will uh, kill off most salmonella. So I'm going to use two tablespoons of egg whites, and I am using pasteurized egg whites. And I put a cap on my mixer, and I just shake. If you like your drinks cold, I suggest putting like three ice cubes in there. So it shakes up pretty well. You open it up, you pour it out. Come 
and that froth on top and enjoy. Hmm. And remember as always, play responsibly.